We hope that you'll enjoy this episode. Just a reminder to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you for joining us for another one of our Let's Play sessions. Um, so I'm going to cover today how to unlock Grandmaster Yoda. Um, so first thing is you go to your objectives, you jump over here to Journey Guide, and then you can find the picture of Grandmaster Yoda here. So select that. Um, you know, so as you look at this, you know it is going to tell you what is recommended. Um, so seven stars, gear at least at an eight, ability level at least at a six, um, and you know typically I think it's above level eighty um, would be you know advisable. Um, and then you know this just kind of tells you who he has some synergies with. All right, but if you jump over to activity, you will see go to event. And in this, like most events, you know, you've got different tiers. So this one has seven total tiers that you will work through. Um, I'm going to jump into tier one. Uh, I'm going to unselect uh, Grandmaster Yoda just because you won't have uh, Grandmaster Yoda when you're working through it. Um, I like to put Bastilla in the leader spot because I like the armor buff that she does give. And then you can kind of just stack up, you know, what's going to work best for you. Okay. Um, I think that. You know, I did this when I was closer to the, you know, lower level, so you won't have to be at level 85 for that. First level is going to be pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You know, jump in, you can get this one at a low level and start getting some of those shards. Okay, tier two, uh, depending on your level, um, still going to be pretty, pretty easy. Okay, so you can see that Grandmaster's got a little bit more health, but not necessarily a ton. And depending on your uh, group setup, I didn't actually need to heal there. Um, we would take him out pretty easy, right? But don't get too far ahead of yourself. It will get a little bit more difficult depending on your level as you and your gear set up as you move forward. So we did one, we did two, we jump into three, and I'm using those, uh, you know, those Jedi, um, you know, tunes there. All right, so you can see that he's got even more health. Now he's got now he's got his uh, abilities starting to stack up where he can add it, give himself some protection. But again, you know, if you are you know relatively decent level, you know, I'd say you know your 50s, maybe 60, you should be able to take him out pretty easy at this level anyway. Okay, and after each one of these um, tiers, you're going to get a few more shards. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and look at tier four. All right, so we can see we got him up to level 60 now. He's got you know a little bit better gear. Um, you know, still not terribly difficult to defeat. Again, depending on your level, most of these are 85. I think I got one in here that's at an 80 or something like that. Um, so just going to keep that in mind. So we did four, now we're going to do five. Alright, so even more health, now he's at level 70. He's got a little bit better gear. Uh, probably still going to be doing a little bit more damage. But I'd say as so long as you're in the, you know, 70, you know, ish range with some decent gear, you should be okay. All right, we see him adding, giving himself some armor. Okay, now we're at, I believe we're at six. All right, so here's where you're going to start seeing a little bit of a difference. So now he's got some tunes, and whenever he, um, you know, does his buff, it's going to apply to to everyone. So we'll see if we can't stop that from happening by taking away his skill. So I used Obi Wan's ability, Obi Wan's ability here, and it's going to take off that special ability, so we can't use his ability to give um, everybody additional um, protection. And I like to focus on taking out. Grandmaster Yoda first. Um, let's see. Almost there. So you see he tried to use his ability, but that wasn't really working out for him. So let's go ahead and take him out of the mix, and then you can take out the guards. 
you may find, depending on your level, you know, so this is level 80 right now, that um, you need to take out the guards first just to keep them from beating on you. But uh, my folks were pretty fast just because they're level 85, and, you know, I'm starting to, you know, starting to uh, equip them up. Alright, and this should take care of him. Alright. So this last battle is going to be a little bit more difficult for you. Um, so just make sure that you've, you know, got a decent setup. Um, you know, I would, I would suggest level 85. You don't have to be level 85. I wasn't 85 whenever I had completed this. Um, you know, so you can definitely keep taking runs at it until you get it. But it's only level, you know, it's only level 80, which is different than a lot of them. You have to unlock where really you have to be level 85 and you have to have really good. Um, really good skills. You'll notice that I have been, um, you know, I've got my Grandmaster Yoda here. So when I use this ability and I jump in, um, it attacks everybody, gives me a little, you know, where I get to steal their buffs, and then I get to attack again. Okay. So I'm going to switch gears here and um, take out some of his help. I also want to remove any abilities if possible, but I didn't notice he had that ability block, which was more of a waste of my, my turn there. I can use his ability and it grants everybody some additional armor. Okay. And again, when I jump at them like that, I get to steal any of the buffs that they have, which can be very helpful depending on you know, who you're fighting against. Because some, you know, some groups they've just got buffs galore, um, and being able to steal those really will help you out. All right, let's take out what we want here. I'll try to. Get myself back some protection that will help. So you can see this one is, you know, a little bit different of a match compared to the others where I just was basically able to walk through the match with a little difficulty. And now we're down to Yoda. Give myself some protection. So you just keep stacking that protection on top of um, himself. So definitely something that you'll have to find a way to chip through that. And if you aren't hitting him, that can be definitely a challenge here. Let's see if I can't stop him from using that ability. So Obi-Wan comes in handy for that. <laughs> so as you can see, he... Uh, you know, it can become a bit of a nuisance to uh, to kill because he keeps adding protection back on himself. And he's also could be a little bit difficult to to hit. So, you know, you're just going to be continually kind of playing this down and just chipping away at him, trying to do enough damage while he has his you know his uh, protection or shield down. So I'm going to go into super fast mode, and I'm going to move this to auto because it's really going to be more of a chipping him down kind of deal. I'm sure you don't want to hear me clicking every two seconds. And I think the piece you'll notice is he's hard to hit. Keep stacking up that um, that protection. And we've only got him down about half, about halfway, so far. And um, every time we get him down, he's able to add in a little bit more of that shield. There we go. All right. So you chip away at him enough, and you will defeat him. And then once you get through that last level, you will have all the shards you need to unlock Grandmaster Yoda. So I hope you found this uh, useful. Uh, please come back and check out more of our episodes. Mm -hmm.